Hello everyone, welcome to Monty Excel, Excel in Life. Wherever you are in this world, we speak one language that is Microsoft Excel. Have you ever encountered the problem of having an Excel file that's become just too large to handle? Whether you are working on a complex projects, handling massive data sets or just dealing with a file that seems to have grown over time. You are not alone. Access to Excel file sizes can slow down your work, making sharing files an inconvenience and even lead to unexpected crashes and getting into a not responding mode most of the times. But worry not, in this video, we'll deep dive into the reasons behind bloated file sizes. And more importantly, let's see practical approach to efficiently reduce Excel file sizes. Let's make our Excel file from fat to fit. So let's get started on your journey to mastering the art of reducing file size in Microsoft Excel. All right, currently I'm working on a sales data and we can see the number of rows we have is 7,68,000 rows. So the one of the main reason is when you are trying to carry so much of raw data in a single file, definitely the size would be more. And the second reason would be there are certain conditional formatting which you have used currently not in use. And the third reason would be, might be you have linked to with some external files and those links are broken and certain formulas which are not in use. So let's try to find out what the size of this Excel file currently. If you just look at the file size currently showing as 72,021, in other words, it's 72 MB file. Now let's try to see why using a magical trick, how you can reduce the file size. For that, what we can do is we can just use a file and save as and go to the browse and save the file type this time, not XLSX, rather XLSB. Now the question comes here. Now when you're trying to change from XLSX, which is a default extension of your Excel file and changing to a binary form, will it lose the content? The kind of formatting I've done, will I lose it? The kind of colors I use, will I lose it? And is there any changes to my pivot tables? Is there any changes to my graphs or something? Nothing you are going to lose. The file will be the same, same format without any changes. The only thing is good news the file size will be drastically reducing. Now, already you have seen like it is a 72 MB file. Now, by changing to XLSB, let's see what is the file size. Now, let's try to give some name here. This is sales data as V1, underscore V1. And I just saved the file. And you can see the file is getting saved. And I'll go to my Explorer to see what is the current file size. Now, from 72 MB, the file is trying to get transformed to the size of 44 MB. The file is still getting tried to save because of huge file size. So definitely we will encounter the issues like opening the file, closing the file, saving the file. And also while editing, you will find definitely a slowness. Now the file is saved. Now you can see the file size is reduced to 44 MB. Now you can see 44. Now further, if you want to decrease it, okay, if you want to further reduce the file size, there are chances where we can do that. That is, always ensure that if you have any additional formatting, something like this, which is not required anymore, I'll just remove that, all right? And you also try to see at the bottom after 72,000, uh, 7,65,000 rows, if you have any blank cells, which looks like a blank says, but sometimes the data is captured and you cannot see that. So let's try to delete that and go to, from the H column, I can see there is an unwanted formatting. Let me also delete that. Once you delete this kind of additional formatting, which is applied and which are not in use, please try to delete that. And also try to see if you have any additional links with this file which is trying to make this file size huge. Now I'm trying to save the file and let's see what is the file size now after changing this small changes. All right, the file is saved now. You can see now the 72 MB file has reduced to 22. 
So one of the best way is to try to save the file as a .xlsv and see you will find a huge difference. And if you are still not finding uh, much variance in terms of the file size, you can always try to check the formatting things that is blank cells, though it looks like a blank cells, but something is occupied there, which we need to delete it. So always try to delete the blank columns and blank rows, any additional formatting, any broken links will definitely help you to reduce the file size. If you followed the trick and you implemented and reduced the Excel file size, please do share in the comments. If you find this video informative, then click on like button and make sure to subscribe to Monty Excel. The best is yet to come. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.